Have you heard of the Outside of Sunday podcast? Well, if you haven't, you're about to find out. In studio joining us right now, who is the host of Outside of Sunday podcast, is the wonderful Krista. Morena, Krista. Morena. Thank you so much for having me here, guys. Well, you are totally welcome. Thank you for making the trek up State Highway 1 for you know three what? and a bit hours. It's a beautiful drive, so I'm not complaining at all. <laughs> well, nice, cool. nice to have you in the studio. So let's find out a little bit about yeah. Outside of Sunday podcast. There is something we're talking about that's happening this Saturday, which yes. is kind of this big event, which we're looking forward to. We'll get to, to that. Okay. But um, Outside of Sunday podcast, what is what is this? So it's a podcast that I started about four years ago, oh, actually wow. literally four years ago, because it was in September 2020 that I first started the podcast. And basically the idea was to encourage Christians to live their faith outside of Sunday. Um, you know, Christianity, I think sometimes, and I've been guilty of this as well, we can treat it like a club. You just turn up on a Sunday every now and then, and then you don't think about church, you don't think about your faith until the next Sunday comes around. And so the whole idea is to encourage Christians to engage with their faith, to, uh, you know, spend time in their word, spend time in prayer, spend time in worship outside of Sunday. Is it just you on this podcast? Uh, well, <laughs> it was for a long time. It was just me, but that was never my intention for it to stay that way. I always wanted to, to have guests on or at least not just be me talking. So I was yeah. like, no one wants to hear that. Even I don't want to hear myself just talking for like hours. Um, so this year has been great. We've been able to have a whole lot of guests on the podcast. One of my favorites would have been Rosanna Overcomer from uh, Gloria Val, you would have seen her perhaps on the Escaping Utopia documentary. Oh, wow. Yeah, she Great. was amazing. But every single guest that we've had on the podcast this year, I just think everyone is amazing. There's such raw, open honesty about their faith journeys and also, you know, where they've been, where they are now. And yeah, it's just really, really powerful stuff. When you started it four years ago, what was your intention? <laughs> what, 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 yeah, where did you want to go with this thing? Well, really, I was like, I'm just be happy if like 30 people listen to it, even my friends, because it was kind of like, I don't know, you guys are dudes. So <laughs> when you have children, it's a tiny bit different for you. When a woman has a child who's a Christian, you kind of get pulled away from church a lot because, you know, you're in the mother's room. Yep. It's really hard to get together during the week with your friends to do like Bible study or just to even just fellowship with your friends who are Christians. And so this is what I found is like, it was almost impossible for us all with our young babies to get together, to fellowship, to build each other up, you know, like iron sharp and iron. Mm. We want to do all of that, but it's really difficult as a mum. And like my kids are 10, seven and five. And only just now I'm starting to actually be able to spend more time on a Sunday, even with my husband, like sitting in church together. So that was the original heart, but it has totally grown since then. Like now, um, that was the core, but now it's very evangelistic. It's also, you know, we're talking about biblical stuff, um, deep things, hard questions, the things that you're not allowed to really say. I'm not even going to say the words on here, but you know, like the tricky oh, stuff. Yeah, <laughs> it's explicit. She swears explicit. a lot. Explicit. You should have heard her off here. No, no, uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> definitely not. But just the trickier things that need a little bit more nuance, that li yeah. need a little bit more yeah, time awesome. to delve right into. Is it um, mainly sort of female skewed? You were talking about sort of mums and things like that. Is that yeah. kind of the lean to it, or that's kind of the lean? Definitely not just for mums though. It's it's for any woman, but we do get a lot of male listeners as well. So I think because these stories are the Christian story, it's like the story of the woman at the well. You know, I was this way, mm. then Jesus, and now look at my life and what Jesus has done. So mm -hmm. I think anybody can listen to Outside of Sunday and be blessed. A um, couple of questions. Yes, go. Uh, how many people plug in? Do you think on on and and how many times do you do it? And when we get people in studio who are mm. creatives and mm -hmm. they impact the world, we love hearing about the impact of what they do mm. um, and, and people uh, coming back to you personally and, and saying, mm. well, this is really cool because it's helped me in this way, shape or form. Yeah. Can you speak to that? How many, how many streams first? So we probably average, I mean, on a great week, it's a thousand a week that nice. are tuning in. Um, but our biggest reach is really on social media. Yeah. So the podcast is one side of it, and that is mainly like discipleship and, you know, growing in your faith. But then the evangelism side really comes in on social media. So we've had a couple of 
guest clips go viral. Um, for example, we had one even just like two weeks ago that's had over 300,000 views on TikTok. So nice. I'm on all those platforms, not because I want to be on those platforms. I just want the gospel to be yeah. reached. I mean, like, I think it's like three quarters of all 15 to 39 year olds in New Zealand are on those video sharing platforms every day mm. and the average time that they're spending is two and a half hours yeah, you need a to day. be on it you need yeah. so what so what are some of the comments that have really moved your heart so a lot of people just being like especially for this one uh that we had go viral just like this was my life it was this woman who was grew, grew up in like extreme poverty and extreme abuse as well it's really awful but then just the hope that comes on the other side like so many people so encouraged like thank you so much for sharing this was what my life is like and, and now look at what god has done through uh, this person was winnie mcclutchy who was recently on our episode uh, on our podcast and she was just amazing so yeah, it's really cool. That is so cool. Well, stand by, sit tight, because cool. there's a, a really an amazing thing that you're going to be doing on Saturday. Um, and we'll tell you more about that because I think we, we were trying to talk about this internally, about tr trying to break records. And no, it's not about the haka. This is something else. So more from Krista outside of Sunday next here at Life. 23, 27 minutes away from nine in studio with us. This is a really cool chat. We've got Krista from Outside of Sunday podcast. And um, we've talked about the podcast. We've talked about you. We want to move to an exciting event that you got planned for Saturday. But we had a really cool chat just before I turned the mics on mm. about where you were at with this podcast and whether you thought it was the right thing to do. Because before, about 10 minutes ago, we mentioned that you are on social media platforms and yes. TikTok, Instagram. We, we talk about this often, about struggling with being on there or mm -hmm. not being on there. Are we supposed to be on there? And you probably, you had that same oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. journey. Yeah, well, even like initially when the first idea kind of came into my head of starting a podcast, that was actually in 2019. And I wrestled with that whole concept for almost a year before I launched the first episode and published that in 2020. So because the whole thing was I was so content like being a nobody on social media. Like I literally only had my friends and family who would follow me and I just occasionally share like family pics. It was all that that life was about for me. So in 2023 though, I'd been doing the podcast for about three years and I kind of stepped away from it for about six months and I just really took a huge step back. And I was just like, Lord, is this what you want me to do? Like, do you want me to do this? Or am I just doing it for like a vanity project or yeah. something like that? Because I'm not about that life. I would be happy just to let it go and just live my life, be a great mom, be a great wife and just, you know, be content like that. But I really felt after spending a lot of time in prayer and just waiting on the Lord that actually this is what he wants me to do. It's not about what I want to do. What did and that look like it when, was, when, you, when you got that? Awakening. It was like three. There was oh. three moments that the, I felt like the Lord, through other people and also through oh. His Word, just kind of confirmed to me that this was what, where He wanted me to go. And then I felt a clear uh, leaning towards 2024 being the year that I really just kind of gave it my all. And so that's what I've been doing. This well, shot, Krista. Shot. Get, get ready to really <laughs> give it your all starting <laughs> Saturday morning, 6 a.m. through till whenever the heck it ends, which uh -huh. is probably like one or two. <laughs> AM Sunday morning. You're going to read the entire New Testament yes. live across all social media platforms. Yeah. That's where a lot of pizza, dude. Where, <laughs> where did the idea for this come from that you were like, you know what, I'm going to just start there and go to the end? Well, I really wanted to get uh, the attention of the New Zealand Christian community. And I really just wanted people to get behind outside of Sunday because as I said, this is evangelistic as well as equipping for the New Zealand Christian community. And so the more people who interact with us, the more people who follow and like and subscribe on YouTube and so on, the more we can get this content in front of non-Christians, in front of the general population as well. And so I was like, hey, let's just do something a little bit crazy. <laughs> what if I just like read the entire New Testament? Okay, so you're, you're guessing it's going to take you about 18 hours to do. Yes. What is that based on? Is that based yeah. on like your word speed per minute? Type? That is based on Google alone. Okay, oh. right. <laughs> That's just what Google said. Have, have, oh, I've got so many questions about mm -hmm. how this is going to go. Uh, have you sort of practiced the, the pacing or how you're going <laughs> to sort of read it? Or are you just going to be like, I'll just open it, I'll start, Matthew, through to Revelation, bam. I'm I am going. just like, such an easygoing person. There's no way I was going to practice this. I was just like, you know what? I'll just start and we'll just hope for the best. Because <laughs> <laughs> good, good on you, Krista. Now, 
did you know about Dan Carter when he tried to break the record for kicking? Um, I remember hearing about okay. it, but I don't know what so happened. He went through extreme training, <laughs> like physio rub down, practicing every day. I mean, it's different. He, you're talking. Mm -hmm. He's using muscles in his legs, but yeah. it's just, you know, so I encourage you to get what warmed up, your vocals. It's <laughs> Lemon be water. you got strep sores. I've you got, got like, uh, someone gave me some rocket fuel, one of our followers. It's, apparently that's really good for like clearing your rocket throat. Rocket fuel? It's, it's like this all natural thing with like concentrated manuka honey and things oh, like that. It and sounds then, like moonshine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> completely. It's definitely not that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no. It's fine. And then somebody else is getting me Vocal Zone, which is like professional no, no, singers. What that is. They, they're, yeah. they're good. Oh, Tab's so, going, yes, that's good. Yeah, that's the stuff. So I'm really just like trusting the Lord. I'm just like, I'm going to enjoy the process and I'm not going to rush. Are you going to, are you got like fresh fruit there? <laughs> There's someone supplying you with nutrition and hydration along the way. Do you get any breaks or I are you have, just going start to finish? I have a fantastic community of people around me, like friends and family. So uh, one of my friends is putting together a little care pack for me, but oh, nice. I like, uh, it's going to be great. I'm go I am going to have breaks. So yep. I have signed up seven people who are going to do 30 minute breaks for me. And so on those breaks, so they have to keep reading the Bible because yep. the whole point is it's going to be a continuous reading from beginning to end. We're not going to stop. So when I am having a break, because I've got to eat, I've got to go to the toilet. Yeah. So that's just being realistic. Yep. Yep. Uh, they'll continue the reading for me. Okay. What version of the Bible are you reading from? Um, I've actually decided I'm going to be reading the New King. New King James. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. Right through. You're not going to switch up? Just New King James? Well, when the people... Good it's like <laughs> to you. No, no, no. New King James isn't got the ifs on it, but, you know... Oh, it, the New King James. Yeah, yeah new, not the old. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, oh, yeah. so you meaning like, yeah, old-time English. I was like, wow, good luck. Um, okay, so when I'm reading to my son, Jay, I read to him most nights, right, before bed. Uh -huh. I'll be reading a story out of some book, and... I don't know where the story is going. I mean, this is different because it's the New Testament. You've probably mm -hmm. read most of these things at some point, but um, you'll yeah. be coming across parts where you're not exactly sure what the sentence is saying until you're reading it. Mm -hmm. And I often, as I get it wrong mm -hmm. or emphasize the wrong word, I then just sort of paraphrase the sentence that's in front of me, and he doesn't know because he's six and I'm reading the story <laughs> yeah. and I make it my own. You can't really do that. Oh, no way. With the New Testament. So yeah. are you going to go back and, I don't know if you've thought about this, but if you sort of... You know when you give the wrong oh, emphasis like give on something con give and then you're like, oh, hold on, that doesn't really sound right. Are you just going to go back and re-say it or are you just soldier on? I think we're just going to have to soldier on. Otherwise, we will be finishing at like 4 a.m. <laughs> I was, oh, yeah. um, was going to ask, are you analysing at any point or are you just nah. straight read? No, nah, you have to straight read. Okay. Otherwise, yeah, 4 a.m., 6 a.m., I'm, and I'm not about that. I'm like, yeah. let me get some, <laughs> a little bit of sleep. You're a star, Krista. <laughs> okay. do, you, do you know where the halfway point of the New Testament is? That is a great question, and I wish I knew because Because <laughs> yeah, you should I look that know. up because that will give you a bit of an idea as to when it's going to end. It, yeah, well, my <laughs> husband was saying to me I should just, like, tick off every book, you know, and just to give me a bit of a sense of how far I'm going, you know, yeah. and how long I've got to go. Sounds like you already do. Yeah. Sounds like you're, yeah. you're going to do awesome. Okay. So it's Thanks. this Saturday, the 28th. Yes. yes. Right? And kicking off at 6 a.m. Yes. How do people find you to tune in and support you? So you can just search outside of Sunday wherever you like to uh, engage with social media. But the best way to watch it live is on YouTube. And that's just because while we will be live on TikTok, uh, Instagram, Facebook, and everything else, uh, YouTube is the most reliable source. So Facebook and stuff, it can drop out every now and then. So if you yep. go to our YouTube, subscribe to Outside of Sunday, and we'll be going live, yeah, 6 a.m. Saturday morning. Well, hopefully this video that we're recording right now is up before Saturday so people can yeah. see and, and tune in and find all the deets. Yeah. You've been awesome this morning. Thanks, guys. We just wish you not only all the best for this coming Saturday, but just all the best. Thanks.